Another scam is sweeping mid-Michigan, and it's stealing Social Security numbers. We're here today with Saginaw County Treasurer Tim Novak, talking about how to avoid those thefts. Thanks for yes, being here. Yes, good morning. Good morning. All right, so tell us about how this new scam is targeting taxpayers. Yeah, so you, you kind of get those robocalls, and mm -hmm. this is their this is their way in to kind of scare you. So they're telling you that, hey, listen, if you don't call this phone number back, we're going to cancel your Social Security number. Or you you owe some overdue taxes or something, and call this number just to find information out. You know, and they make threats and things like that, you know, you're, you know, you can go to jail or the law enforcement's going to show up and, you know, that the IRS and others just want you to know that, you know, don't ever give sensitive information to anybody over the telephone unless you know who is on the other line. And, uh, and if you get these kind of phone calls to just, you know, feel free to hang up. Yeah, what are some of the signs of the scam? So some of the signs what you'll notice is that they'll demand like immediate payment using uh, a prepaid debit card oh, or gift cards. you know gift cards or wire transfers. Um, the IRS is only going to ask you know for a, you know a normal type of payment. Um, they may ask you to make a payment to somebody other than the U.S. Treasury. Mm -hmm. um, that's another scan, another another idea. Um, they may threaten to bring local police over. Or they may demand um, payment without a chance to appeal. I mean, the IRS is going to offer you some sort of chance to, hey, you know what, there is an opportunity to appeal or ask questions. Uh, so anything that feels urgent and out of the out of the norm, you should uh, be uh, your guard should be up. So what should people do if they don't owe taxes or think they don't owe taxes? Well, if you don't owe taxes or you think you don't owe taxes, um, you know, these are the types of things where call the inspector general's office mm -hmm. um, there's uh, methods of emailing where you can you know just call the irs um, make those phone calls to somebody that's safe and say listen um, this is the type of information i'm getting you know you can target that they're phishing emails or irs scams or social security stamps let the authorities know they can track this stuff down and kind of put an end to the next scam that comes up because you should always kind of be always going to be on your toes for things like that and you know, if you really do owe money, mm -hmm. you know, call and find out. You know, you can go on to irs.gov or you can make those phone calls. If you legitimately owe money, make those phone calls. But, but in the meantime, if you don't owe them, um, you know, track down what the caller ID was, what the number and name was, um, keep track of those things and provide that information to um, the authorities. So let's talk about where tricks do belong, Halloween. That's right, that's so right. So what should trick-or-treaters know about the big day this year? So a big day, we're going to go on Thursday, and most of the times your parents should verify what time in your community is to trick-or-treat. I know TV5's got a whole mm -hmm. list on their hot links page. Most of it's 6 to 8, but there's some variations of 5.30 to 7.30 and stuff. But really, you know, kids should be in, you know, try to look in reflective costumes. They're asking maybe face paint versus masks. Um, we can carry flashlights. Just always be wary of, you know, the kids should always be aware when they're with their parents or sometimes kids are older and they're out on the neighborhoods alone. And then, and then when the drivers should be careful, slow down, look for other folks. There's a lot of extra foot traffic out Thursday, really from probably from 4 o'clock all the way up until 8, 8.30 between cars and stuff. So just take your time and be careful. And, take your time. You know, let's not make it a... A bad night. Exactly. So a couple tricks we've talked about when really we just want to enjoy Halloween. Absolutely. This is, this is what the tease was, right? <laughs> exactly. Well, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you. And we hope everyone has a good Halloween trick-free. Have fun. Well, if you have a question you'd like to ask the county, just send them to WNEM at WNEM.com.